Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. If you ever wondered how to calculate a duration column when you only have one date time column with a time period, stick with me on the next Do More with Click and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so to start out with the example in front of you, you basically see we are collecting sensor information. And the sensor displayed here is sensor 01 and there is some sort of event, and then there's a date and time when that event is logged. And you can see that we are calculating a duration column for every time the event is triggered, how much time has passed. So for example, from 9.45 to 10.15, 30 minutes and 10 seconds, from 10.15 to 10.30, 14 minutes and 50 seconds, and so forth. If you only have a single column and you wanna calculate that duration, you need to reference the previous record and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now this is something that is done in the data load script. It's fairly simple. So we're just gonna to navigate to the data load editor and I'll go to data load. So basically I'm just loading my data from an inline table and you can see we have event ID, sensor ID, the actual event and the time and I just put a status column in here. Loading all the columns and then what I'm doing is basically converting my string to uh, a proper date time. So basically just casting that to uh, appropriate field type, in this case uh, for the date time, timestamp field type, so I can perform some mathematics on it. So this first function here is basically just taking the time column and taking the rows that come into that and converting it. And then you can see I'm doing a subtraction. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the previous script function. So in other words, this is only done in the data load script. It is not done uh, within a chart. And the previous basically finds the value of the expression using data from the previous input record. And that's basically all there is to it. And then you can see as duration. So when this is calculated, we're basically now performing the proper mathematics calculation on the date and the time. Keep note that it's important that you have the proper format um, because depending on how the data is coming in, you might get different results within your duration. So make sure that the input format and the output format are of appropriate structure that you're going to use in your application. And to just share a fun example of how I'm using the duration column, I'm using a telemetry app that's collecting near real time sensor inputs, in this case from a video game controller, while I play a video game. So just keep track of the left side of the screen, and you're going to see the up, down, left, right, and fire update as the game is being played. And you can see the duration. So far we played for about 7 seconds, and then 12 seconds, etc. It's just a fun example. If you want to learn more about this example, you can check out my LinkedIn profile. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please post them where this video is posted. If there's anything I can do to help make your journey with Click Cloud Analytics easier, please let me know. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you on the next video.